Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, today in this video we will be going to study about a homeopathic medicine Euphrasia officinalis. Its common name is Ibad and it belongs to the family Scrofulaceae. So without wasting much of our time let's begin. Before going ahead let's have a look on the general symptoms of the medicine or rather I would say the guiding symptoms of this medicine. The symptoms which guides or indicates towards this medicine. So as the name suggests eye bright, it is an incredibly good medicine for eyes. In this, eyes are watery all the time. It extremely affects the mucous membranes of eyes, nose and chest where it produces acute cataral condition because of which the mucous membrane is inflamed and there is excessive flow of acrid water discharge from eyes. So what are the related symptoms we get to know? The patient will feel common cold in which there will be continuous flow of water from eyes and nose. And water from eyes will be acrid. That means when it touches the skin, it discumates the skin or it flakes the layer of the skin. So tears are acrid but nasal discharge is bland. And it is reverse in helium sepa. That is nasal discharge is acrid. It discumates the skin wherever it touches but the tears are bland. Moving on to the next, let's first start with the symptoms of the head. In the sun, there is dazzling of eyes along with severe bursting headache as if the head would burst out. There will be cataral headache and also there will be watery flow from eyes and nose of the patient. Condition of the patient is worse towards evening, warm and touch. Now let's move on to the nose. Along with nosy flow, there is lot of sneezing. The inner nose will be sore and painful. There may be bleeding of the nose. The mucous membrane of the nose is inflamed. After one or two days of cold and coryza, it then passes with difficult curve from nose up to the larynx. Condition is worse from south wind, warm and at night while sleeping. Moving on to the next, we have the symptoms of eyes. The name of medicine itself predicts the use of this medicine. So it is useful medicine for our eyes problem. So let's see how. It is very useful in the condition in which there is cataral conjunctivitis and along with discharge of acrid matter. The eyes will be watery all the time. There is cutting like pain in the eyes towards the head. The patient feels pressure in the eyes as if sand is present in his eyes. Eyelids are dry and the margins are red. Eyelids are very sensitive and the mucous membrane is inflamed. In morning after walking, the eyelids get stick together and at the margins there is intense itching along with the pus formation. And also along with the swelling of eyelids, there is fine eruptions around the eyes. Lastly, it is also very useful in the paralysis of third nerve that is oculomotor nerve. So in this way, euphrasia is particularly useful for our eyes problem. Moving on to the next, let's see the symptom of stomach. While trying to extract mucus, patient starts vomiting. After smoking, the patient feels nausea and bitterness. So in this way, it is helpful. Now next, let's have a look on the rectum symptoms. There is intense pressure below the sternum region. Patient feels pressure down in anus while sitting. It is helpful in dysentery and also in constipation. Next slide. Now let's have a look on the symptoms of the female. In female, menstruation is painful. Menstrual flow lasts for only an hour or a day. It is of short duration, late and scanty. It is useful in amenorrhea that is absence of menstruation with ophthalmia that is inflammation of the eyes as in conjunctivita. So now let's have a look on to the sleep. Patient yawns while walking in the open air and patient feels sleepy during the daytime. Let's have a look on the respiratory symptoms of the patient. Patient yawns while walking in open air. There will be profuse fluent coryza in morning with much cough and expectoration. 
Also, there is tickling sensation in larynx due to which the patient have to cough and the patient feels pressure below the sternum. It is useful in influenzas. There is whooping cough only in daytime with profuse lacrimation. Patient feels relief by lying down. Next is fever. Patient is chilly and cannot get warm even in bed. There is shivering, sweating and fever. Fever is mostly in daytime because of which the face is red and hands are cold. Sweating is mostly on chest at night during sleep. It is suitable for catarrhal infection, influenza and first stage of measles. There is also photophobia in, in which light is not bearable to the patient. So now let's see what are the modalities that is when the patient feels worse and when his condition is better. Patient feels worse in evening, indoors, warmth, south winds and from lights. Feels better from coffee and in dark room. So that's it for today. Hope you like my video. And also don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos.